Recent lithium ion battery fires may have you thinking, how safe are they? They power our phones, toys, lawn tools, and so much more. Five on your side, Keely Arthur heard from an expert about how concerned we should be with so many of these scattered throughout our homes, Keely. They're really everywhere. And check this out. These are two separate incidents in the triangle this year e-bike battery fires in Raleigh, a car battery fire in Cary. The expert we spoke with said there are some things to know and to look for to prevent all of this from happening to your family. Dr. Brian Staley is an expert on lithium ion batteries, but that doesn't mean he's immune to the risk that they carry. I had my own experience where, where I had one of these explode in my hand, um, so I'm probably a little more gun shy than the average consumer. The battery for one of his child's toys erupted, charring some mulch, but thankfully that was the worst of it. These are different than your standard alkaline batteries. Different because they pack way more energy than a handful of double A's. Staley says despite that, they're typically safe. The danger comes when you have a low quality battery or charger. If you think about all of the incidences that have happened uh, most recently, uh, many of them have been attributed to e-bikes and in part because those are notorious for having substandard um, lithium ion batteries in them. Investigators say it was an electric bike battery that started a fire that severely damaged this Raleigh home just last month. Staley says batteries or chargers from unknown sources from overseas come with higher risk. You can worry far less about charging your cell phone or the battery for your power tools because those high quality name brands have built in safeguards. But if any lithium ion battery is damaged, all bets are off. When you see swelling, typically the clock is ticking <laughs> for something bad to happen. Here's a couple of things to look for to know the quality of your battery. Does it have a UL certification? If it does, that means it's gone through safety testing. Look at the warranty promise and make sure you use the charger that's made for the specific battery. Finally, if you need a replacement, go through the manufacturer. Do not get a knockoff or anything generic. Staley says it's very rare for a battery to catch fire or explode for no reason. And taking care of them keeps the risk low. These things are used everywhere, so they're not gonna go away. If anything, they're gonna be in more things. Okay, so I'm not holding a lunchbox. Staley recommends getting one of these. This is a fireproof battery storage bag. They come in a bunch of sizes. This one only costs $15. If a battery does catch fire, this buys you time to get in and out of your home to minimize the damage. Pretty easy. I like that. All right, Kaylee, thanks.